We already know that we can use copy and paste to copy slides between presentations. For example, here is my presentation and I want to copy a slide from another presentation that I've already got open. I can use the window menu to switch between the presentations, choose the slide I want to copy, copy it, switch back and paste and there is a the new slide and I can use the options button to choose whether I want to keep the formatting from the original presentation or use the formatting from the presentation that currently got open. That maintains the, pres the formatting from the previous presentation. As always though, there is another way. I'll just delete that slide. We can use insert slides from files. This brings up a dialog box that allows me to browse for the presentation that I want to copy the slides from. And I've put one on the desktop for easy finding. Delivery show. And you can see that it's brought all the slides in. It previews the slides along the bottom here. And I can scroll across to see the rest of the slides. And it's simply a question of clicking on to select the slides that you want to use. You can see I've clicked on the first and the third and they've been bordered in blue. I can use uh, change the view to uh, a list style and choose the slides in that way. In this style I've got to use a control key if I want to select more than one. So that's holding down the control key when I'm clicking. Switching back to normal view. Just take those off for now. Switch back to normal view. Um, I want to take slides two, so get rid of that one, two and three. Just before I insert that, notice we can either keep the source formatting, that means keep the appearance as it is here in the preview by putting a tick in the box, or if we leave that tick out, it'll import them using the formatting from the presentation I've currently got open. So I'm going to leave that tick out for now. And just before I click on insert, you can see there's also insert all. So that would insert every slide from the presentation. Now click on insert. And there we can see the slides have been inserted. I'll close this dialog box. And you can see the two slides there that have been inserted. The teacher training agenda and the creating a comfortable class atmosphere. Slides two and three from that presentation. So that was insert slides from files. Now at this point, before I show you the next important feature, I want to say a little bit about exporting. As you already know, we can use File Save As to save presentations in a variety of different formats. One of those options that you'll have worked with with earlier lessons is Save As an Outline or an RTF. The question is, why? And it's because it can make things easy to manipulate in a word processor. So I'll just save this onto my desktop to make it nice and easy to find as an outline RTF. And then we can have a look and see what that does. OK, I'll do minimize this presentation for now. And there's the document that I created. If I open that document, You can see what it's done, it's created um, a word processing document that, that basically takes all the text from the placeholders in the presentation. And it's done just a little bit of formatting. Um, every title in the presentation has now been created using a heading one style. And then we've got the bulleted list in the normal fashion. So the title for each slide, heading one style, and then we've got a uh, a bulleted list. This makes it very easy to manipulate. For example, let's put a new title in the middle of this bulleted list here. We'll put a new title in there, we'll use a heading one style, and we'll call it Teacher Training Agenda Continued. So we're breaking up what was one slide, and we're effectively creating a brand new slide. When we import it, this will create a a new slide into the presentation. 
So I'll switch back now into my presentations and create a brand new presentation. We can now import that outline in much the same way as we did with the slides from the presentation. So we can do insert. Last time we did slides from files because the presentation existed. This time it's slides from outline. Again, we can go looking for where that file was saved. Select it and in notice this already looking for outlines. And then insert. And there we are, we can see the slides have been imported. And everywhere that we had a heavy heading one style, a new title slide, a title has been created for us. This is a very useful tool when you are planning. For example, I was in a meeting where we were planning a presentation um, to deliver a new product to a, to a target audience. And there was four or five of us in this meeting. Um, and as we were talking, we developed a outline, a basic outline of what we wanted to work with um, to deliver this presentation. Once we'd thrashed that out, once we got that sorted, I then took that outline away, that RTF document, because in a word processing document has been saved as a, an RTF style. Um, I took that away and I simply imported it into my new presentation as I did there using insert slides from outline. Once I had my text in there, I simply added our company design template added a few graphics, and there we had it, our presentation, all ready to deliver to our target audience. And finally, for exporting, um, we can save any of these slides in a picture format. You've in essential, essentially taken a photograph of the slide. It's a very straightforward method. You choose a slide that you want to work with, and do File Save As very simple technique. All you need to do is change the save as type into a graphic format. And there's two or three on offer here. Uh, just to, We'll only work with two of them. Just remember that GIF is uh, for very simple graphics, lines and colours, uh, basically a vector diagram that we talked about earlier. And a JPEG is for much more complex things, photographs, lots of colour, um, lots of intricate detail, a bitmap. Um, I'll just save this as a GIF, give it a name, and click on Save. And then the computer asks us whether we want to save every slide as a picture, or just the current slide. I'll just do current slide for this. And there it is, and if I minimize down to the desktop, we can see there's my image there, slide 3. I won't open that to show you. Um, I'm just going to go straight on and show you the other format. File, save as. This time we'll choose the JPEG. There it is. This time, when we let's try every slide just to show the difference. And it tells us that every slide in the presentation has been put in a separate folder for us. So I just minimize down. You can see the folders there. Inside that folder, we've got a slide representing uh, an image representing every slide in the presentation. So that's importing and exporting.